Hello, my name is Hugh, and we're going to show you how to set up the SRI Model 310 M&M GC. So we'll start with the box that it arrives from the FedEx, and you, um, you'll need a wrench to remove the, the bolts that are holding the box shut. So you, you take the bolts out. And then inside the box, find the GC and some of the stuff that we give you with the GC. So there's a, a software disk, which you can certainly use, but there's a more relevant version of the software on our website, so probably you'll want to download the, the software. And then there's a, a little kit that we give out with every GC that has a, a couple of syringes, different sizes, and a USB cable for connecting the GC to the computer. And then for the cannabis GCs, the 310 M&M, there's a special cannabis kit that contains a whole bunch of stuff, a, a balance, some bottles, some more syringes, and we'll go over the contents of that, but the contents are on this little page here that we um, include with the GC, and that's also on our website, so if you wanted to review that ahead of time, you could. So the easy way to get the GC out of the box is to just lift the whole thing out like that, one more thing, I guess, is in the GC, and that's a little spare parts kit. So you lift the buckle, you remove the little sleeves, and then you can just lift the GC up onto the countertop. So keep the box. If you ever do have to return the GC to us for some kind of service, the box is very handy for shipping. It's, it's very inexpensive to ship this by FedEx, and you can also fly with the GC using this box as checked baggage. I think they charge a little extra, but you can still fly with it. So we'll put that aside for now, and then connect the GC to the computer. So. You take the USB cable that we give you and you plug it into the side of the GC here and then the other end goes and plugs into your computer. You can use a laptop or a desktop. It's really handy if you can be connected to the internet at the time that you're doing all this. It just speeds things up a little bit. So if you're going to download the software from our website, you go to internet. And then you find srigc.com, and then download, and then software downloads. And then you'll notice when you get there that we have quite a few versions of Peak Simple, which is the software that runs the GC. So generally the latest version is good. If, if it's a cannabis application, we have um, a separate version for the cannabis testing that simplifies the setup because it's pretty much all set up for testing cannabis, whereas the regular versions of our software are set up just generically for all the other millions of things that you can do with a gas chromatograph. So I'll, I'll download the version that says Peak 488 for Windows. By the time you see this video, we may have advanced to another version, so it may say Peak version 494, or, or who knows where we'll be when you watch this video. So anyway, you download whichever version you decide you like, and then double-click. Windows tries to protect your GC, PC rather, but if you click more info, you can override that Microsoft decision and hit run anyway. And then you have to say yes again. And then you click next. It's best if you would um, use the default folder for installing this that we choose rather than giving it your own name, but if you want to, you can and then next. So there it is, and it, as quick as that, it's installed the software. So when the software gets installed, an icon gets created on the desktop. All right, so if we double click the icon, oops, let's do that again. Different version. There we go. So when you double-click the icon for the first time, Peak Simple wants to know 
the number that's printed below each GC, right below where the USB cable connects. So there's a number. On this particular GC, the number is 3515. So it wants me to enter that number in the little box. So first, I'll turn on the GC power. You don't have to do this, but it won't really work unless the GC power is on. And then I'll type in 3515 into this little box here. And lo and behold, you get another little box that shows the conversation between the computer and the GC. And when the, com when the conversation is successful, the software shows a word called standby here and also shows a number that's fluctuating. If things didn't go correctly, and they might not go correctly if you weren't online when you did the installation, because there's a, a program called a driver that has to be loaded either manually or automatically from the internet. If you're connected to the internet, the driver should load automatically, but sometimes something goes wrong and it doesn't and you have to load it manually. So if, if it doesn't just connect itself that easily, you go to the Windows Start button here at the lower left and you right click and hit Device Manager. And Device Manager then will show you all the things that are connected to the computer. So the, thing, the place to look here is at the very bottom of the list where it says Universal Serial Bus Devices. So if you expand that list, you'll see that there's something called SRI333. That's the driver. And when it looks like that, it means it's been successfully installed. But if it's got a little yellow warning triangle, it means something went wrong. So if that's the case, you, right, you point to this um, SRI333 and then right click and hit Update Driver. And then it says, how do you want to search for driver? Search automatically or browse my computer. So what you do is you browse your computer and you um, look for the folder the Peak Simple folder basically is where the driver is located. It's in the Peak Simple folder that you created when you installed the program. So you put the name of the Peak Simple folder in here and then hit next. You don't have to go any deeper. You don't have to find the actual name of the driver file. You really just have to tell Windows what folder the driver is located in. So then you've got the name in the folder, you hit next. It says either the best driver is already installed or um, it loads the driver, which takes a few seconds, and then at that point you can go back to Peak Simple and hit Acquisition Reinitialize and it'll go through that startup conversation again and this time hopefully it will be successful. So, the, that's basic, the basic setup of the GC. Next we're going to actually create a calibration standard and inject that into the GC to calibrate the GC. So.